Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be discussing Forex and this is episode two of the series. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and um, this should be a quick one today, hopefully. So follow along. Um, so today we'll be discussing risk management strategies and basically how you survive in these markets and prevent yourself from blowing accounts. And then more than anything else, I want to show you guys how to stay profitable um, and how to get profitable if you're not. Um, so I'm going to show you this little formula that I came up with and you guys can kind of trade based off of it. And I'll show you some examples of it inside the markets. All right. So um, so for this strategy, we will be um, we will be going based off of like a five hundred dollar account for the example. So on a five hundred dollar account, you don't want to risk more than two to three percent of your account. So we're just going to go with two percent for this um, for this example. So two percent of five hundred dollars is ten dollars. So. You can calculate that. I got my calculator up here. Uh, let's see. I think you just multiply your account um, by the percentage you're willing to risk. I think it's 0.2. I don't know. Oh, yeah, 0 0.02. 0 0.2 is 20. So 0 0.02. So 500 times 0 0.02 uh, is the percent I'm willing to risk. And that equals the dollar amount that you're willing to risk per trade. Uh, all right, so for this example, we'd be going based off of 50 trades. Um, that's with a losing strategy. This is a losing strategy. I want to note that. Uh, by losing, all right. All right, so by losing strategy, I mean our wins are less than our um, losses. So we're losing more than we're winning. So let's say out of 50 times, I lose 30 times and I only win 20 times, but using a one to three risk to reward ratio. Uh, so we already discussed our max risk, which is $10. We don't want to risk more than $10 per trade, but each trade that we do win, we want it to be three times our risk. And that will equal $30 for this example on a $500 account, 2%, $10, three times 10 equals, um, equals $30 basically. So you just multiply. So this will be your risk, which is $10. Multiply whatever your reward is. You got to be consistent with this. Let's say five, then that would be $50, but we're doing one to three. So that would be $30. So for, um, let's say for your wins, you win 20 times, but each win you take, you're taking $30 each time. So that's going to equal $600. And for your losses, you're losing $10 for each trade max. You can't lose more than that. Less, less the better. So then uh, 10 times you're losing times 30 equals negative $300 because you're losing money at this point. So $600 profit, $300 loss will equate to $300 profit. I want to want to make this clear. $300 profit off of a losing strategy. And why is that? Because we're all of our wins are bigger and we're cutting all our losses short. So you only have to win. Let's say... Um, for one to three, let's say I only take about four trades. Uh, here, I can show you on the calculator. Like, let's say I only take four trades. All right, so here we are, here's an example. Let's say we have a $100 account and let's stick with the one to three and $10 max risk, but although we know 2% is uh, $2 on this, but we're gonna go with that. So $10, uh, so let's say we lose $10 per trade. So let's say we lose $10 here, that's one trade down $90, lose another trade, down, down, uh, sorry, not down 90, we're down 10, now we're down 20, lose another trade, uh, now we're down $30, say we win one trade, oh, we're back at break even, win another trade, we're now we're profit $130, but in what I just did, we only won two out of those five times. Three of them were losses, two were wins. That is that is how you do this. It's basically showing on a smaller scale. That's all that you're doing here is making sure that your wins are consistent uh, amount bigger than your losses. Um, and so here's another one. This one's with the winning strategy. Let's say we win 40 times. 40 times 30 equals $1,200. And we only lost 10 out of those 50 times. Then... Um, then that would be a loss of negative uh, $100. So $1,200 minus uh, $100 loss, that equals $1,100 profit. And that's what a winning strategy. So this is pretty much, um, let's say, a 
half and half almost. I don't know why I did 26, 24, but let's say half and half. Um, you win 26 times times 30, 780. Losses, yeah, you lose 24 times. Uh, at ten dollars, it's negative two hundred forty. Seven eighty minus two forty, five forty profit, all in your pockets. And this is with a horrible trading strategy that you're um, you're only winning fifteen out of fifty times. So fifteen out of fifty would equate to a hundred dollars profit. That's three hundred fifty dollars loss. But just those fifteen compared to that thirty five. I'm still at $100 profit, although I am losing most of my trades. And with trading, uh, for those of you that don't know, you can basically trade this by, um, if for those, you just watch my first video if you don't really understand the basics, but all you're doing is selling or buying. You're, uh, all you're doing is selling or buying. You're hoping that the price is either going to go up and down. You have two options, so you, you have a 50-50 chance of being right. If but that number can uh, vary quite a bit. But this is with a completely trash losing strategy. You could still be profitable, which is why you should live by this, especially if you're a beginner. Um, I've been learning. I'm trying to figure out a few different things. So I've been swaying from it a bit. I'll probably risk a little bit more here uh, or I'll be looking to take a way more profit. If you get your entries right, it's something that I noticed. Uh, if you get your entries right, then your losses won't really even matter at that point because you're you won't even go into drawdown you're like barely in the negative and boom mostly profit so i really focus on your entries as well it's just as important um don't just go in there pressing buy and sell sticking to the strategy i mean although i think you could potentially be profitable with this i'm not going to say that i don't want to be held liable for anyone blowing accounts but honestly i believe you can go in there and blindly place trades and let it hit uh, your your ten or your thirty dollars, just keep letting it do that, and you most likely be profitable, honestly. Um, but but you want to really maximize your wins and get to that forty to um, forty out of fifty, because then that's eleven hundred dollars versus let's say with a losing strategy, a hundred dollars. That's that's a thousand dollar difference. So you really want to focus on this uh, on your trading strategies, not so much just your risk and management. Uh, your risk management you really want to focus on that though keep that in mind with every trade you place if you see something going back get out the trade i don't care if it's about to go back up you think like you, you can't think in these markets you got to be robotic with this if your number is hit get out like pretend like you're coded to automatically take yourself out of the trade at that ten dollars and you can set the market to do this um uh i'll have a video showing you how to work metatrader a bit more um, but I'm going to show you in trading view. This is uh, just a chart viewing system that I use to do my analysis and stuff like that before I go place my trades in MetaTrader. But, um, so here, let me go to my chart. So I'll show you guys a tool that I use. Uh, I'm going to go to a chart that I haven't marked up. All right, this won't work. I actually have one out already. Uh, let's see, replay. Let's go here. All right, let's say you're um, getting in a trade. I actually gotta remove this one. And um, you're trying to calculate where your your stop loss is going to be and your take profit um, based off of your um, off of your uh, risk to reward ratio. So we're doing a one to three. So we want our pips, which is a unit of measurement. Watch my first video if you don't know any of these terms I'm using. Um, and if I don't mention it in my first video, comment and I can make a video about it. But so uh, pips is basically just how many points were going up or whatever. And those pips equate to dollar amounts. Um, so let's say um, let's say I'm getting in on a sell here, which means I'm assuming price is going to go down. So we get in on a short uh, price is currently at this little red line. Hit that. Boom. This thing right here, this is how you calculate your risk or reward. They have one for buy and sell. Uh, you have a long and a short. Uh, long means you're hoping that price goes up and short means it's going down. So um, here I'll show you the long one. See how the colors are reversed. So when you're red, basically red is the direction that you don't want the price to go in. And the edge of this red is your max and the edge of this green is your max. All right, so this number is your pips right here in the center here and here this is your stop this is your target so here we got our um one to three risk to reward ratio and if the price you're targeting um you're expecting price to go 
and it hits that and it's higher than your um, what your risk to reward ratio calls for, that's better for you. That's like so when you take those losses, it's not going to hurt as much because your wins are even greater than the one to three in some cases. So that's your minimum that you're hoping to take is that one to three. But if it's three point two five or you bring it down and you're trying to actually hit this price right here, then boom. Yeah, um, you can be at uh, almost a one to four, or one to five and some great traders. They can do like one to ten, one to fifteen if they really get their entries right. Uh, it's, it's insane. Um, so yeah, so basically this is how you, um, you set that. And I don't know if price would hit that or not, um, in replay mode now. So we're just going to see what price does somewhat consolidating. Uh, here we go. It came close to our stop loss. You just got to let it ride unless you see a reversal happening. That's going like the trend is changing. Like we're making higher highs and higher lows Then you see that we're in an uptrend, although we place a sell. So we will probably want to get out. We could cut our losses even shorter. And that's something I'll help you with taking those losses. They don't hurt as much. So you want to do everything in, um, in consideration for your account. Like, uh, don't, place it and be like oh if it hits it it hits it if it hits that i mean if you're going to sleep and you're just going to let your trade run then fine but let's say you're uh you're still not sure which way price is going and price does go down here but it doesn't hit this now we're heading back up so you could have got out here and got let's say um so yeah that's one of three so we could have took that and we could have been happy um uh, so for those of you that don't really understand what I'm saying is this right here where price hit this little red needle price was once at this point and it shot back up so we didn't hit our stop loss we hit our take profit if it was there um, I think that's where I had it initially so let's say price would have hit that and boom profit there and you just keep doing that uh, keep placing your trades make sure you're doing your analysis and all that um, yeah and for those of you that aren't using trading view as your um, your trading platform like you can actually trade on this if you have a broker that works on this but um the one i use doesn't so the way you basically incorporate this data into metatrader is let's see in a short position throw that there boom here so these values you'll see it over here on this price chart in the green and the red here and this gray one is your entry price so this is where you got in your trade you hit your buy at that point uh, sometimes there's a difference in between MetaTrader and this, so you can go and drag this to exactly where your price is. See, let's say I got in at 1.25825. I move it there, and then um, just your stop loss accordingly. You take these prices over here to MetaTrader, and let's say I get in on a buy. I can't do it right now since the market is closed, but I can modify this order. I'll show you guys that. And my stop loss is at that. 1236 or whatever it was then i'll just modify my stop loss to be that value and i take profit here and you're pretty much set for that trade that's all you have to do if you are incorporating this data into there and uh there's a little formula i use to get myself ballpark with what my pips equate to as far as my dollar amount uh, so i'll go ahead and show you guys that the price does vary uh because uh, there's a spread that your broker charge and they may charge commission. Uh, that's why you notice your trades will start negative all the time because um, your broker is selling that currency to you at a higher price or um, yeah, at a higher price than what your um, what it actually is. So that way they make their profit on each trade. So there's always a spread. And the way you calculate that is uh, basically subtracting uh, the numbers here in the sell and the buy. And the difference is basically the spread. And that's like how many pips you are going to start negative. So that varies by dealer and by trade. That number is constantly moving. Um, so this isn't 100% accurate. And they do charge commissions as well. So I want to make that clear. But um, this is how I get ballpark. And I usually give myself a bit more wiggle room when doing this. So let's say on my $500 account, um, yeah, I'm gonna make this easy for the math. Let's say my stop loss is 10 pips and my take profit is right at 30. And let's see, and my max risk is $10. So 10 pips at $10, that's basically a dollar a pip. And why this is important, um, this is how you're gonna determine what your lot size is gonna be or approximately. Um, so about a dollar a pip 
Um, so I usually go based off of my loss. Uh, you don't really want to go based off of your your take profit uh, because you you're more concerned with risking too much. This is risk management. You're managing your risk. You're not this isn't take, uh, profit management. Uh, profits are gonna come. You just gotta make sure that your risk don't wipe out your profit. So um, so you really focus on this. So the ten here uh, that would be you basically just divide that number by itself so 10 divided by 10 so 10 pips divided by ten dollars my max risk will equal one dollar so that's one dollar per pip on my lot size so i will go with a point one. Point one is equivalent to a dollar in the market for those of you that don't know uh, so when it moves those 10 pips it's gonna equate to that ten dollars or roughly remember your spread so I, i've noticed that this number is usually lower for my broker at least um what I do my math here is like usually a little bit lower. So I would go a bit bigger on my lot size. Uh, so my stop loss will usually be at like seven, eight dollars when I'm trying to risk ten dollars max. So that would give me a bit more wiggle room on my location because I don't want it to stop me out just because I needed a few more pips here. So that, that gives you a bit more room to put your stop loss, which is good for you. And um, so, yeah, you basically just set your trade there and um, Give yourself a little bit more wiggle room. So about 1.1, 1.2 max is what I do. Uh, you can test it out for yourself, see what your spreads are with your broker and how that works. Um, but this is basically how I do mine. Um, and I really want you guys to succeed. Um, this risk management is very, very, very important. Uh, this is why most people fail, to be honest. Um, even with like a decent trading strategy or even a winning strategy let's say you win those 40 out of 50 times and you're not cutting your losses short remember that 1100 dollars we saw in profit on that for this example we did the 1100 dollars let's say i let one of my trades go bad like 300 dollars, 400 half year count i've seen people do it and um that's basically coming out of your profits and that's only like 400 dollars profit based off of that one trade and if you wouldn't have let that one trade go then you would have been and at this $1,100 marker. So you really got to control your losses and keep it at that amount. Uh, if you lose a trade, make sure you know why you lost the trade. Go back, back test it. Um, see if there's, I don't know, just do some research, figure out why you lost that trade. You really need to know why you're losing. Um, don't just rely solely on your risk management. Like say, hey, my profits will take care of me. No, learn why you're losing. You want to if you can get to 50 out of 50, I know I haven't heard of anyone have any winning percentages like that, but that should be your goal. You don't want to lose money in the market. So make sure you're really focusing on uh, managing those losses. I uh, can't stress this enough. I will be dropping a video um, hopefully pretty soon. I have recorded a couple of videos. I am trying to get them out now. Um, so, yeah, I really want you guys to really focus on this stuff. I'll put this back up on the screen so you can write this down or whatever you need to do. Um, you could tweak this to, you, to your liking. You could change this to one to five. You could change, um, I don't know, you can, hell, you can, you could be, there's riskier people out there. You could risk 10% of your account, which would be like $50. And you're hoping to take like $500 each trade. So just be very consistent with whatever you're doing. So that way you'll know what it is in your trading system that isn't working it's easy to uh, it'll be easier to single it out whatever it is that's causing you to lose trades or causing you to lose too much money or you're not taking enough profits you know exactly why if you stay consistent you be a lot easier to narrow it down versus hopping from strategy to strategy uh different risk management to different risk management you, you got to stay consistent um yeah so if you guys have any questions make sure you comment below i really want you guys to succeed um and i wish the best for you and thanks for watching